Hey, hey, Levi, how are you doing? Good. Excited to get to Texas. <laughs> exactly. I was about to say happy show day in Texas. Texas is our favorite. It's kind of a thing. People oh, yeah. really like it when they get um, in Texas. It's oh, really yeah. fun. I still say you can look at any interview like from other than the U.S. They're always, mm-hmm. They always ask, what's your favorite place to play in the mm-hmm. States? And I never really pick a state. I'm just like anywhere within Texas. You're like people that come to best. shows. I love it so much. Yeah. But Texas, though, really. You guys just go crazy. It's, yeah. It's crazy. Absolutely. Well, I really want to start this interview off on a serious note. Okay. Um, you've got some really incredible locks and hair. And it's just like really <laughs> glorious stuff over here. What does it take on a day-to-day basis to have hair like that? Um, I really don't do anything to you it. You really don't do anything to it? No, but usually just in a ponytail. Hey, women okay. everywhere are screaming at you right now. Like, what? The only thing I do have that's like a little bit over the top that I just got into is um, super girly of me, but... At Lush, they make R and B. It's this oh. hair stuff. Lush is nice. Oh yeah, they like, like this R and B like hair lotion, yeah. and I wear it when I go on stage because uh-huh. it, it like makes my hair look like wrestler's hair the whole night, <laughs> and I'm like, yes, and it smells really good, and then it's it's the best. So, so R and B look from really Lush. dirty, but you're just like so floral and fresh. Yeah, and, and it's like, like lemony fresh. I'm like. Um, I like, give people hugs when I'm like disgustingly sweaty yeah. and sweaty. Like, you smell so good. I'm like, I really don't. <laughs> exactly. Of course I do. Absolutely. Good deal. Um, well, there's been a lot of really funny press going around lately. Um, apparently, Justin Bieber wore a Marilyn Manson t shirt and it really pissed him off. And Marilyn Manson called him a piece of shit, which is oh, really okay. funny. So it's just been like all this really funny stuff on the internet about that. How would you feel and what would you do if Justin Bieber wore a Miss May I t shirt? I would be pretty stoked if Justin Bieber wore Miss Man shirt. Um, yeah, that's pretty mm-hmm. much. I would lose my mind. Actually, really? okay. I, I'm sort of. I can. I'm sort of a Bieber fan. Uh-huh. I like. I just get. I like the. Not like the, the music. He yeah, like fun. what he does. Yeah, it's um, fun. Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, um, so fun. I would be like, holy shit, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, did you like that one? My mama doesn't like my mama don't like you, and she. Likes oh yeah, everyone. yeah. I think that, that one is like. Yeah. Even if you didn't like Bieber, that one was like, well, I can get down. Oh, you just groove to it. You like, <laughs> you hear it like while you're shopping. You're like, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you call your mom. You're like, mom. I <laughs> exactly. Um, well, we have the 10-year anniversary of Miss May I. It's upon us now. What are some of your favorite memories for the past 10 years? Maybe. Couple fun ones. Well, my all my like favorite memories are just traveling. But like, yeah. like uh, my one my top favorite thing is... Um, we played main stage at Download. Mm-hmm. And that was like, I used to have this DVD of Azalea Dying, which was like my favorite band ever. Oh, and, I really love Azalea Dying. Oh, yeah. And I've seen that video. I've seen. Yeah, they're their, like playing before this festival in the beginning of DVD. And I was always like, that's the stage I want to play. That's what yeah. I want to do. And then we played that stage. And yeah. got to play that show. And it's like oh, 60,000 people. And I'm just like, oh, that's, that was yeah, like yeah. my all time favorite. And then going to Japan, mm-hmm. uh, we played when we, there was. Uh, we just showed Slipknot there, and it was crazy. Nice. Um, what's another favorite of my memories? Yeah. South American tour. Mm-hmm. It, the whole South American tour. Wow. Yeah, awesome. it was amazing. Very cool. I saw a video a couple days ago, um, and it was like the culture of Japan. Everyone there is just so considerate and it's really awesome. nice, and they don't litter there. Oh, yeah. And people are just really nice, and they're very caring about each other. So it was like a video I saw. Was that your experience as well oh, when yeah. you were over there? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. It's... um. It's the, it's the best place. My all-time mm-hmm. favorite place was Australia. It still is great. Mm-hmm. But when I went to Japan, I'm like, okay, this is my number yeah. one. Because just how everything runs there, like you said, like, um, it's so clean. There's actually, like, no crime, really. Mm-hmm. Like, nothing. Wow. Like, the crime is so low. You can, mm-hmm. I left stuff at a bar, went to other bars, but I left it there on purpose because I knew no one would steal, yeah. touch it. And yeah, it, for like, sure. went around and came back, like, hours later, and no one touched my stuff. Wow. Nobody steals there. It's like, yeah, that was in the crazy. video. They yeah. said you can go to the bathroom and leave your phone, and it will be there by the time you get back. Because the penalty is, like, so high that people mm-hmm. just don't. Yeah. Do stuff. They're like, nah, it's no, great. Thanks. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Download. Um, I'm not in a band, but that's like one of my ultimate dreams too. I've got to get to download. I've got to. Yeah. Just, I, it's, it's like over the horizon of people. It is. It's, it's crazy. Just, it's really the Mecca for me too. I've never been. So I think that's like every band's dream. That's really my dream too. I've got to get to download as oh, well. Yeah. But it's funny. Um, you said as LA dying. I loved, loved, loved as LA dying. And I finally got to see them live the next week. He got arrested. Mm. <laughs> They were so I was like, oh. they were flying to do a tour. Yeah. The tour they were flying to was the tour with us and Killswitch. Oh wow, and really? Oh, first, so you were like, it was our first tour and, with them, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can't wait. And then I see the news, I'm like, 
What? The tour starts in like a week. I'm like, what do you mean they're not coming? Oh, it's crazy. I can only imagine the calls and the texts that... We all thought it was are, fake. I thought like yeah. Lamb Goat was like pulling somebody's chain. Yeah. Metal Sucks was pulling a stuff. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, this is the real deal. I know. Yeah, that's how I felt when I saw it. I was like, by whatever do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. There you go. Well, let's um, relive the last 10 years of your career with a little game. Okay. Um, so let's play some Mad Libs with your albums. Ooh. So it's just like real simple. I'm going to say, listen to this album if you Mad Lib it out. So... <laughs> I know. I mean, we can play. Okay, okay, we'll figure okay. it out. Let's I go. mean, make it really good. I know. Okay, I mean, no like, pressure. No, no pressure, pressure, but make it really good. Listen to Apologies or for the Week if you have a MySpace. <laughs> there you go. This is an old one. Okay, Get it, guys. It's good. Yeah, cool. there you go. Okay, that was really good, by that the way. That was You're doing good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, listen to Shadows Inside if you. Mm. If if you can't make coffee that day, listen to listen to Shadows Inside. That's a good one. If you're you like need if you need a pick me up, but you can't get a coffee or Red yeah. Bull, listen to Shadows Inside. There you go. That's a good one. Um, listen to Deathless if you have corpse paint makeup on. What is that? Like the white, yeah, and that. black corpse paint. Oh, okay, gotcha. Black metal bands. Where? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Death metal band. Hey, you did good. Yay. Good. Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, for sure. I need Woo! to bring I need to bring practice. I should have brought gold stickers, yeah. something like that. Um, so let's talk shadows inside. This album is really sensory overload and ear candy for anyone that loves metal. It's just you like metal, you get the screaming, you just get the heart pounding guitars, everything you love, metal drums. That Thank just you. really epitomizes that album. Just everything that you really like about the genre, that's what that album is. Thank you. Um, definitely your best work to date. So really love it. It's really Thank fun. Um, I was and it was uh, I was in bed this morning writing the interview. So I was just relaxing in bed listening to it. And I love metal. I was just in heaven. It was great stuff. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was good stuff. Um, so what was the idea or the concept that you guys had for the album? And did that change while you guys were writing it? And did it turn out to be something completely different by the time it was done? Or did you just know you're going to do what you did? Um, well, the concept sort of came at the end. We didn't really have an idea mm -hmm. of what we wanted the record to be about um, at the beginning, which is weird because most of our records, we have sort mm -hmm. of an idea. Um, but this one we didn't, uh, the, the crazy thing about this record was we had so many things happening behind the scenes that were changing. We were like getting a whole new team, new yeah. label. We actually changed managers. We did mm -hmm. all this stuff. So when we we're doing this record, it was sort of like, um, a reset within ourselves. Like mm -hmm. we felt like we were 16 again because yeah. it's an all new team. It was sort of like, um, like we drank a Red Bull or like a coffee. <laughs> and we were just like, what? Well, like overcharged. Yeah. So I think that sort of reflected onto this record mm -hmm. and um, sort of our ambition to take little areas mm -hmm. uh, in the ways we did. And um, while that was going on, we were getting rid of a lot of, um, while we were doing the changes, there's a lot of like dirt we were getting rid of too, which mm -hmm. was nice. Yeah. But since we were getting rid of that, um, we sort of, it sort of bounced out and like mm -hmm. came out into the songs. Yeah. And it's sort of, at the end, when we were done with the record, we listened to the songs. We're like, wow, like this whole record's really about our um, like changes and big like mm -hmm. life changes we've had over the last six years with all those managers and labels. Yeah. And we're like, the whole record's like about changes. Then we had the shadows inside thing and then it was just mm -hmm. like snowball, snowball. Yeah. That's what the record's about. So it's yeah. really just like a documentation of everything prior that we've been going through. Wow. Absolutely. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's incredible. And I think so many bands go through that. Because you kind of, you first get into it and you really learn and then you like just have this rebirth that you yeah. go through. Um, I feel like I went from high school to college. I'm like, <laughs> I graduated. I'm like, now I'm in a whole nother. It really is. Yeah. Like, I come on tour now with a whole nother mindset than mm -hmm. I used to. It's awesome. That's awesome. Love it. Yeah. Right, there you go. All righty. Um, so Shadows Inside is definitely an all-conquering, powerful, and epic album. Um, if you could pick a song or two to be the theme song on any TV show, Netflix something, or movie, what would you pick? Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Under Fire. Okay. And then I wanted to... I want that song to play when, if anybody watches Game of Thrones. That's what I was thinking about when I read oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Game of Thrones, but then a little bit more detailed. Yeah, yeah. Anytime a Lannister or someone's mm -hmm. coming into picture, mm -hmm. it's that song. Yeah. Because it's, it's like a little bit like on the dark side of it. Yeah. And then another one. The Lannisters are coming. Yeah, Lannister. <laughs> the Lannisters are coming. Yeah. And then like a little riff. That'd be awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, And then another one. 
Do you watch a lot of Netflix? I'm such a streaming person. And uh, I, a like, little I'm bit. I'm so TV, and I just totally stopped watching TV. So that's weird to me. I didn't know. So not oh, so yeah. much with you. I don't, no, I don't really. Um, I watch like what everyone's talking about. I don't have any oh, streaming. Gotcha. So I'm a very big pirater. I pirate my stuff. I'm sorry. I know I'm in a band. That's yeah. why I pirate because everyone pirates my stuff. So <laughs> boom. I'm pirating back. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. There you um, go. Exactly. But yeah, so I don't stream. Levi stuff. says it's okay, guys. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm trying to think one for my sorrow, but then I'm all, I'm just thinking like cheesy, funny ones like mm-hmm. Dawson's Creek or something like a sad drama, <laughs> and it's just my sorrow playing in the background. There you go. I love it. Yeah. Anything that's old enough to become a meme. Yes, know, exactly. Like Dawson's Creek is coming around as well. <laughs> so that's that's a good one. Good deal. Um, so touring is definitely a lot of hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. Um, really, just to get to your hour, that hour, hour and a half you have on stage every yeah. night. Now that you have new material to play. What is your single, like, happiest moment every single night when you're on stage? Oh, okay. Um, I got, uh, when we play Swallow Your Teeth, Mm -hmm. um, there's this part where it pauses, Mm -hmm. and I have, like, four measure or four beats to say the name of the city. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like, my favorite part because it's just me, and I say the name of the city. Yeah. And then this, like, the biggest drop of the whole show happens. Uh Uh-huh. And then it's also fun for me because... It's a really long name. <laughs> Everyone's like looking at me and I'm like, well, I'm going to make it. Like last night was Oklahoma City. So it was like, <laughs> so it was like boom, Oklahoma City, boom. And then it came in. So it's always like, it's fun. But then it's yeah. also like when we play, or it's a place I can't pronounce that good. Yeah. I'll just be like, what do I say? And they look at me and I'm like, let's go. And I would just go down. I'm like, sorry. But yeah. Have you ever said the wrong city? Oh, all the time. Oh, really? Not all the time, but definitely like yeah. once or twice a tour. Yeah. Which is way too common. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Or I just mispronounce stuff a lot, too. Because <laughs> okay. of my... Cause like the, oh, man. One word I can't say is ch- charcuterie or chartreuse. My friends are going to kill me. Word. You know, it's that like meat and cheese plate. That's the only word I can't say. That mm-hmm. It's a chartreuse. What? I can't say I it. I can't stop chartreuse. It's, it's a <laughs> chartreuse. Chartreuse? <laughs> it's C H A R. T E R I E with like some U's in it. I don't know. It yeah, isn't pepper some of these letters. <laughs> There's like, like some U's in it. Letters. I don't know. I can't say. What can you not say? Um, well, it's just, I'll just, I'll like read it wrong if it's yeah, small because yeah. the strobe lights are going and it's oh, on my yeah. day sheet yeah. or it's on like the um, set list. Yeah. And I'll see it and I'm like, for instance, we played Margate on this tour, mm-hmm. and I thought it said like Margot. Mm-hmm. So there's a big pot, like another part of the song. I was like Margot, and I looked over, <laughs> and everyone was looking at me. Where I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I was like, while the strobes are going, I was like, what? I'm like Margate. I'm like, Idiot. Mm-hmm. And I'm like Margate, and then the rest of the show was good. It's, it's, yeah, it was a battle. It's okay. Yeah. It happens. 